Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about which one is better, quality over quantity or quantity over quality. It is quite the topic because this is a common discussion in other genres like JRPGs, video games that tend to go from 20 hours up to several hundred depending from the different things. And for some break, it is easy to see that quantity was decided over its quality. And well, personally I find it as a bad joke, because I am sure that many of us were able to put up with this way of delivering the game because we were not given all the content at once. I mean, we had 34 monsters when it was launched. Back then I was a bit pissed, so maybe I played around 30 hours and ditched the game, until they added the Elders. By the end of Rise we had 46 monsters, but between every update I ditched the game and played some other things. Repeat the same story with Sunbreak and its different updates. Between every major update, and once I had done what I wanted, I ditched the game. The difference here is that with Anomaly Research, the burden of completing what was added was more about getting the new decorations rather than saying, oh boy, I am enjoying this part of the game. And once again, the story repeats itself with the fifth title update. Here it is fair to say that some of you have enjoyed the journey and some others pretty much abandoned Rise Sunbreak. On this end, how would have you liked the game to be? If you ask me, Anomaly Research aren't that bad, but what broke things here for me at the very least is that we were not able to increase those levels above the set cap. And when we have to increase 80 levels to reach the new cap, rather than saying, yeah, I have fun, the reality is that it became into the tedious part of the game. Personally, I think it would have been better if we had just like 50 levels in total, and within those 50 levels, different adaptations of the monsters to get different moves, stronger attacks, and why not, increase those sponges size just a bit. And now I wonder, how would have been the story had I start, let's say, right now? In all honesty, I would just try to beat Amatsu and move on to other things, because there is nothing worth doing further from that point. Sure, I increased my HR to 938, Master Rank up to 675, those 300 levels received this crappy message saying this, and well, maybe you think, oh my god, it's going to be a freaking crazy challenge that maybe my masochist side is going to enjoy. And to be honest, fighting Happy Girl Sponge isn't what I will call entertaining or challenging. On this end, a game that overly extended its quantity over its quality just kills the experience. I am sure that many of us will have preferred one or two extra monsters per update, instead of other 20 to 80 levels of rings and repeat the same story. And to make matters even funnier, from the monsters that were added, not every one of them has an afflicted version. And in all honesty, Belkana, for example, I have just fought it like five times, because once you're fighting against your research level cap, you prefer to focus on what helps you rather than hunting maybe something much more appealing. Sazuma Racing Hit In any video game where the farming part goes beyond a, a time spam, people would just leave the game. And the general perception of the game is going to be thrashed because it turns food mechanics into tedious ones. Once again, this is going to vary from person to person. If you really enjoy what you're doing, you can put much more time. If it is not enjoyable, most likely you will move on to other things. So quality over quantity or in the worst case, I'll say, balance of these two. And if you play with friends, most likely, even if it is not a really good game, you will stick with it for far longer than if you were playing solo. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.